And now, the number one news at 5 o'clock. WPTV News Channel 5. And this holiday season, one area woman finds herself in the position of being a victim and a patient, both at the same time. Just ahead. Every day, hundreds of people battle cancer. They get care and concern from health care workers who try to give them the best care. Well, one woman found herself in the unenviable position of caring for patients while she was a patient herself. News Channel 5's Roxanne Stein has more on the battles she's fought and the generosity given to this survivor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine. Good. Wanted to know if there were any AP patients here today. Uh, I believe we do. Mari Chumasiro spends every day working at Hospice by the Sea caring for cancer patients. I'm honored to be there for those families at the moment, our, our team. Two years ago, life took an ironic turn for this 35-year-old woman. I find the lump. And less a month later, I go to the doctor and I'm being diagnosed at age 35 with breast cancer. Mari had an aggressive tumor. She had both breasts removed and then underwent chemotherapy. Her work at hospice took on new meaning. Exactly. When I would do the weekly reports of, you know, who are our new patients and the ones that have passed and why they passed, I mean, every name I typed, I cried because I saw myself. Living took on new meaning for Mari, too. You wake up and you see yourself in the mirror, you have no breast, and you have no hair. I mean, a lot of what the society says is feminine, I didn't have for a very long time. Because for a very long time, Mari's hair didn't grow. I introduced myself to people and right away I would go, I finished chemotherapy 14 months ago. Unlike most chemo patients who lose their hair and see growth within three months, for Mari... I went through chemotherapy treatment and 14 months later my hair still hadn't grown at all. It's, it's part of, uh, of just going back to normal. Now, thanks to a generous doctor and an innovative treatment, Mari is getting back to normal. She gets regular laser treatments, all thanks to Dr. Alan Bauman of Boca Raton. Not too many patients uh, who have had chemotherapy have trouble growing their hair back. It started with a chance meeting at a party. She was telling me, obviously I noticed that she had hair loss, and she was telling me about what she had been through with chemotherapy and the work that she does, and it uh, really struck me. Dr. Bauman offered the $4,000 laser treatment to Mari free. When he was explaining the treatment to me, I was like, oh, I'm in. This was Mari when we spoke to her in September, shortly after she began her laser treatments. Today, how are you? How are you doing? She's the picture of health, thanks to a very caring doctor who, through his generosity, helped her look as good as she feels. Hi, doctor. How are you doing? Oh, fine. How are you? All right. Wow, you're looking great. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful for everything, my new look. Finally, I feel I can move on. Dr. Bauman has offered Mari the free laser hair treatments for as long as she feels that she is seeing the results. She says the results are not only visible on the outside in her appearance, but it makes her feel better all over. Roxanne Stein, News Channel 5.